Hi, you are welcome on the continuity channel. Today I shall discuss about the soot blower. That is what is soot blower? How many types of soot blower? What is its parts? And what is its working? Let's discuss one by one. At first, what is soot blower? Look at the figure. There are something in green color. This is soot blower. Soot blower is used to remove the deposit ash or slag which is also known as soot, and maintain the heat transfer or boiler efficiency. It is used at various locations like superheater, evaporator, economizer and air preheater. A soot blower works by directing a high-pressure jet of high-pressure steam and air through the nozzle onto the cleaning surface. It is operated periodically based on the soot or slag formed over the coil surface. When soot blower is operated frequently without any slag formation, it will lead to tube erosion and also waste of steam. Now, types of soot blower. There are various types of soot blower used in the refinery as follows. First, long retractable soot blower. Second, half retractable soot blower. Third, wall soot blower or furnace soot blower. Fourth, denitration rake soot blower and fifth sonic soot blower sonic soot blower creates sound waves for removal of soot not uses cleaning fluid like steam water or air soot blower is denoted by sb let's discuss about the long retractable soot blower look at the figure this green object is long retractable soot blower this is the block diagram of the long retractable soot blower. All parts of this soot blower is mentioned here. Long retractable soot blower is used to remove the soot deposit on the tubes of economizer, evaporator, superheater etc. It consists of four parts as follows. First, nozzle for flowing the steam. Second, lenser tube for conveying the steam. Third, driving system for rotating and advancing or retracting the lancer tube. And fourth, floor control system. Let's discuss one by one. First, nozzles for flowing the steam. Nozzles are used to direct the steam with high pressure at the surface where soot is deposited. It is made of stainless steel, typically SS310. Nozzles are inbuilt or tapped in the lancer tube. There are two or more nozzles in a lancer tube. Nozzles can be mounted diametrically opposed or spaced along the longitudinal axis of the lancer tube. Look at the figure. In the figure, A shows nozzles with diametrically opposed and B shows nozzles with spaced. Now, second part, lancer tube for conveying the steam. Lancer tube is used to convey the steam. Two or more nozzles are mounted on a lancer tube. It is supported at the two points. First at front end with lancer guide and second with the carriage. It is made up of chromium molybdenum alloy steel, such as T11, in round shape of 2 inch diameter. Lancer tube remains connected with the carriage and feed tube remains inserted into the carriage till front end and it is sealed with the help of gland. There are sliding and turning motion between the lancer tube and feed tube. The other side of the feed tube remains connected with the poppet valve and it also remains sealed with the help of gland. And when poppet valve is opened then steam starts to flow into the lancer tube through feed tube. Feed tube is made of stainless steel, typically SS304. Now, third part driving system. It consists of electrical motor, gears, sprockets and chains. The electric motor is attached to the rear end sprocket with a gear arrangement. Look at the figure. There are rear end sprocket, gear box and electrical motor. There are five sprockets, one at the front end. Second stays connected with the motor and three with the carriage. The chain remains connected with the front end and rear end sprocket. Carriage remains between them that is, with the help of chain, carriage moves in forward and backward direction. 
There is also a gears arrangement in the carriage due to which while forwarding and retracting, Lancer tube rotates. Look at the figure at left side. It shows the front end and rear end of the soot blower. And the figure at right side shows the carriage. Now, fourth part, flow control system. It consists of poppet valve and value operating mechanism. Poppet valve is used to control the flow of steam and valve operating mechanism is used to open and close the poppet valve. Look at the figure. Figure first shows the poppet valve and figure second and third shows the valve operating mechanism. Now, I tell you about the other parts of the soot blower. First, gate valve at front end. It is used to open and close the front end. It is operated manually or automatically by control panel. It is opened when we have to clean the tubes, otherwise remains closed. Next part, spring support at front end. It is provided for balancing. It prevents the lancer tube from bending. Next part, roller support at front end. It is provided to move the lancer tube easily without frictional losses. Next, chain lock at rear end. It is provided to lock and unlock the rear end sprocket with the motor. In lock condition, sprocket rotates when the motor rotates but in the unlock condition, sprocket is free to rotate. It is disengaged from the motor driving shaft. Next part, chain key at front end. It is used to loose or tight the chain. Now, working principle of the soot blower. When electricity is supplied to the motor then it starts to rotate the rear end sprocket and chain starts to rotate. And when chain rotates, the carriage starts to move forward. Due to gears arrangement in the carriage, the lancer tube also starts to rotate while forwarding and retracting. And when the carriage crosses the valve operating mechanism, the poppet valve opens and steam starts to flow. And then steam starts to flow through the nozzles and strike on the tubes and clean it. After the cleaning the lancer tube retracts and poppet valve is closed by valve operating mechanism. Now, I am going to show you a video of the working of the long retractable soot blower. You can understand better from this video. This is a long retractable soot blower. This is a valve operating mechanism, which opens the poppet valve by pressing them. This is the carriage. Its one side is feed tube which remains stationary and other side is a lancer tube which travels with rotation. Carriage also moves with lancer tube but it doesn't rotate. This is boiler and the long retractable soot blower is mounted on its wall. These are the boiler tubes on which ashes are deposited. And the steam coming out from the nozzles of the lancer tube clean these tubes. This is the whole procedure of working of the long retractable soot blower. Now, I stop this session. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand well. If you have any doubt then tell me in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.